Today we are going to discuss a novel by the Japanese author Yasunari Kawabata known as Snow Country. The novel is considered a classic work of Japanese literature and was among the three novels the Nobel Committee cited in 1968 when Kawabata won the Nobel Prize in Literature. Now let's directly jump into the plot summary. Snow Country is a stark tale of love affair. The novel opens with the protagonist of the novel, Shimamura, riding a train to a remote onsen town. The name of the town is Onsen. Shimamura is a rich married man who inherited his wealth and a self-professed ballet expert. During the train ride, he observes a young woman who is later revealed as Yoko caring for a sickly man named Yokio. The girl's name is Yoko and the sickly man's name is Yokio. He observes the woman that is Yoko through a reflection in the train window and is particularly enthralled by her eyes as well as the sound of her voice. Shimamura's purpose for going to Onsen village is meeting a young woman Komako with whom he had a brief encounter during his previous stay although she wasn't employed as a geisha geisha means a japanese dancer although she wasn't employed as a geisha during his first stay her situation is changed during the second visit shimamura is attracted to the young geisha although his affection proves to be inconsistent and uncertain over time however komako falls in love with shimamura which goes against the geisha tradition of meeting the customer's demands without any emotional attachment throughout their conversations a number of things about komako's life is revealed that is her becoming a geisha to pay for yokio's hospital bills their rumored engagement Komako and Yokio's strained relationship and how she came to life with Yokio and his mother and her life as a full-time geisha. The climax of the novel happens during one of Komiko's visits to Shimamura's room at Onsen Inn. During their conversation, Shimamura calls her a good a good woman instead of a good girl. This change of wording used to describe Komako reveals that the two of them could never to be together while Komako's hopes of a better and happier life with Shimamura remains just a delusion. At the very end of the novel a fire occurs in the town warehouse which was at the time being used as a cinema Shimamura and Komako come to observe the fire and see yoko falling lifelessly from the warehouse balcony komako carries yoko's body away from the burning warehouse while shimamura slinks back observing the night sky and with this the novel comes to an end